Now let me finally turn to one particular system that's been of great interest to us. Molecular motors are, of course, the sine qua non example of how the jigglings and wigglings are put to work to do something that nature wants and needs. And of the, we've su studied several different motors, but I will talk just about one of them because, of course, the Physiology and Medicine Prize was given about the function of vesicles, which uh, provide uh, nutrients and other materials which are necessary for the function of the cell. Now, one point that hasn't been, wasn't stressed in, the, in these lectures, not all vesicles need to be moved from one place to another. But kinesin, which was discovered in 1985, is very important in the sense that it's a molecule that does, in fact, do the transport of vesicles. The vesicles are up here. We know almost nothing about their structure or how they are attached. But it's a molecule, well, it's actually two molecules that have each one of, have, each one has this globular foot, as you will see, and then they're tied together by a strand to form a coiled coil which holds the vesicle. And what the physiology and medicine lectures were mainly about is how the vesicles open and close to give, to give up their cargo at just the right time. This is concerned with how they move around. And again, this is a cartoon, and we'll just watch it. The, the, the microtubules down below, and they're the two globular feet. And here's a real-time uh, photograph, enlarged about 100 times, 100,000 times, where the kinesin molecules are actually moving on the microtubule. But I now want to focus more specifically on how kinesin functions. And if you look carefully at this, you can see that kinesin walks in the sense that we walk. It puts the left foot forward, and then it puts the right foot forward, and then the left foot forward. Now, so that it is walking in one sense, but of course, it's not surprising that a this, these two molecules tied together don't walk really very well. And to me, what the, the way they're walking is much more like a person who has artificial legs who sort of walks forward like this, but that a molecule, molecular system without all the things we have to make our feet work can do this is amazing to me.